Hi, welcome back to Tenorshare AI. Apple finally released iOS 18, but we still don't have any Apple intelligence features. Those features will be coming at 18.1 in US next month. But I have been using Apple intelligence for a while. My favorite feature is cleanup, which is super powerful. The cleanup tool allows us to remove distracting background objects or person from a photo, so we don't have to use any other application anymore. In today's video, I will show you how to access to Apple intelligence and how to use cleanup. Let's get started. Before we start, you have to make sure you're using an iPhone 15 or 15 Pro or 16, because the features of Apple intelligence can only run on these devices. If you are using an iPhone 14 or others, then I'm sorry you may need to buy a new iPhone. So first we need to upgrade to iOS 18.1 beta. We have to go to the developer.apple.com to set up your Apple ID as a developer account. After that, you can see the iOS 18.1 beta in your software update, or we can use Reboot to quickly upgrade our iPhone. I will put the link in the description. Reboot offers various iOS packages, including the latest beta versions, allowing us to update our phone effortlessly in just a few minutes. If the beta version feels too buggy, simply back up your data and downgrade back to iOS 18 with Reboot. After updating, we will see this Apple intelligence page during the setup. Then we can start to use Apple intelligence. Next, we can use cleanup. Open the photos, click on the editing button. We can see there is a new cleanup button. Click it, and it will automatically detect objects in an image that might not be wanted. All it takes is tap to detect the content, or we can also circle or brush over an unwanted object to remove it. There is also an interesting feature. If you want to blur someone's face, you just need to circle the person's face, and then it will censor that person's face. This is really useful. I love it. What's more, cleanup works on all images in the photos library, including older images and images captured by other devices. So go ahead and try it now. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.